Today has been the most hectic day ever. I've been just like going, going, going since I woke up. I still have so much to do, but I'm finally finding time to sit down and film this video, my most embarrassing moments. <laughs> this is my breakfast slash lunch. It's like 3 p.m. I, I'm a mess, so I, I don't know what's going on, honestly. So, I kind of have this awkward background going on. It's fine, we're good. If you guys don't know me, my name is Sydney. This is my channel about my life. Subscribe if you're new, if you wanna hang. And today I'm gonna be telling you all of my most embarrassing stories for who knows what reason I'm doing this. Just so we can all feel a little more human. Because after all, I am just a person. So, here we go. I'm gonna kind of try to go in chronological order. So here we go. My first most embarrassing story I could even remember was when I was in kindergarten. I don't know how I remember this. It must have been really embarrassing. Oh, I thought of another one. Okay, so first one is kindergarten. I'm waiting at the bus stop, right? My brother is next to me. We went to the same school. He's three years older than me. The bus pulls up and he pants me, pulled my pants down in front of the whole bus. I was traumatized. So that's just a great start to my school career, you know? Also, another time in kindergarten, it might have been first grade. I had the same teacher, so I don't know. I was on the bus on the way to school and I started to feel very nauseous and I literally puked. But I didn't like puke. I um, puked in my arm, on my coat, and then sucked it back up and swallowed it. And then did it again. I think I puked like six different times on the bus. I was like crying, cause you know, it, like it's like acidic and it hurts. And then I get to school, all because I thought it'd be too embarrassing to throw up on the bus, like, no. I get to school, and I didn't want to just run up to the kitchen, kitchen, run up to the trash can, because that's embarrassing, right? So, at the beginning of the class, like, everyone would wait in a line to, like, tell our teacher, like, something fun about our day or show or something. I don't know, everyone loved our teacher, so we, like, wait in line to talk to her. So I should have just waited in the line for probably like, I don't know, 15 minutes. I finally get to the front of the line and I'm just from like this. And then she like pulls out the trash can and I just puke in it and then I go right home. All because I was too embarrassed to throw up at any other point, you know? So I just kept puking, swallowing it, and then puking it. Also, don't be eating while you watch this video. Not a good idea. <laughs> Cause that's just the beginning. I was in like third or fourth grade and we were at recess and I really, really had to go to the bathroom. I had to go number two. And I went and told my teachers and they were like, no, is it an emergency? And I even told them, I was like, yes, like I really need to go. And they were like, no, you can't. You need to wait till after recess. And you know, there's only like 10 minutes left. But I, no, this was like an explosion moment. I couldn't wait. So, <laughs> I just went over and like hid in a corner somewhere and pooped my pants. I never want to talk about that again, but I just wanted to share with the class. I don't remember what I did afterwards either. Like I just remember that traumatic moment and then I think I pushed everything else out of my memory. <laughs> okay, so then in fourth grade, we were about to leave my house for something and my brother had his car, everyone was in it, it was a convertible, and I was closing the garage, and then I wanted to do that cool thing where you slide over the hood. I was wearing my favorite pair of plaid shorts, and I slid across the hood and ripped my pants open. The back of my pants were now in tattoo. Um, they were no longer pants. Giant hole. And I was so embarrassed. I think it was just my family there, so like it wasn't that big of a deal, but that's embarrassing, like I ripped my pants. So then I like had to walk like covering my butt and like open the garage and go in and also they were my favorite pair of pants so that was just sad. Sad and embarrassing. Now this is one of probably my most embarrassing moments. Like this is the first time I remember being super embarrassed which is surprising considering what I've already told. I was in fourth grade and I was like pretty close with my teacher and it w this class was like I had the cool teacher, so everyone was always just messing around and having fun and stuff when we weren't doing work. So I was really, really weird in fourth grade, and I loved to sit on the trash can. Like, just a boneless, open trash can, sit on it. And I would literally like take notes or whatever we had to do, like sitting on the trash can. So my friend got in the trash can and um, she fell. And one of my other friends thought that I pushed her in the trash can. So when it was my turn to sit on the trash can, 
she then pushed me in the like pushed me in the trash can and I got stuck. I was stuck in the trash can. So I like didn't want to make a big deal out of it and one of my friends went and got the teacher and he came over and he made a big deal about it. He got the whole class to come on over, everyone was gathered around me, and he had to pull the trash can off of me in front of the whole class. And I remember like my biggest crush ever was in that class in fourth grade and I was so embarrassed, but you know, we love that for me. <laughs> so now we're moving up in the world, it's sixth grade, so I'm like 11. And this is my first kiss story. Okay, so I had this boyfriend, and like I always say Dallin was my first official boyfriend because I mean, yes, this was my boyfriend, but we never talked to each other. We only texted each other. We dated for like a year and a half, two years, something like that. I don't know. So I don't really count it, but he was my first kiss. And we were in the basement of my house, and me and my sister had combined to do a big New Year's party. I was in sixth grade, she was in seventh grade. And, um, hey, this was actually the night of Dallas' first kiss, too. So, woo, and my sister's. And I wonder who Dallas' first kiss was. My sister. <laughs> That's a story for another time. I think I've already told it. But anyway, so, my sister and I had this party. My boyfriend was there, and we kind of, like, hadn't talked about it, but it was like, okay, yeah, obviously we're going to have our first kiss this night. So, my little 11-year-old self is, like, waiting, the countdown is going, I'm, like, I had arranged where I could stand next to my boyfriend, and we, like, didn't say a word to each other, everyone's counting down, it's like, three, two, one, and we, like, look at each other, and it was super awkward, and my other friend was there, she just smashed our heads together, she was just like, kiss! So I didn't have to do it. I just think that's funny. I wasn't really embarrassed, like, it was fine, but I just think it's funny. Cause like, of all the first kiss stories, like, that was mine. Love that for me. So, yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> now here is a traumatic experience, and it's embarrassing. It wasn't embarrassing in the moment, cause I was just at home, but it's embarrassing to tell people. But now that I'm like an adult and I can use these products, I don't care to tell people anymore. It's honestly kind of funny. Maybe people can relate. But okay, so I got my first period when I was like 11. And <laughs> it was a couple months after that. I had only been using pads because I was scared of tampons. And I didn't understand how they were supposed to go in or anything. So one day I was like, you know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put a tampon in. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Like I, I think I've only told like three or four people this, so I'm really opening up here. So I'm in the bathroom and I put the tampon in and I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if I put it in wrong, if I was just scared, um, if I was like traumatized by it or something, but I walk out of the bathroom and my sister had just gone to like Victoria's Secret. So she was showing me all her like new bras and she was like, this one's so cute, showing me. And I'm like literally like blinking, like everything's going black, I, everything's getting fuzzy. I'm starting to pass out. I knew I was about to pass out, so I just like started to kind of walk and I was like trying to tell her, I was like, yeah, that's really cute. As I'm passing out, I pass out, she told me I slammed my head against the wall, fell on the floor, and then she thought I was joking, because that's definitely something I would do, and so she started like kicking me, she's like, Sid, get up, like, why are you on the ground, I'm trying to show you my cute bras, and finally she realized I was actually passed out, so she went and got my dad and my stepmom, and then they came down, and I was, the once they woke me up and took me up into my parents' bedroom and put me in the bed, I was so embarrassed. Like, I'm about to have to tell them why I just passed out. So I tell them, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I put in a tampon and I passed out. So, yeah. Um, I had to go rip it out dry. It hurt really bad. And then, <laughs> to make this even more embarrassing, I didn't put another tampon in until I was 17 years old, 17 or 18. And that happened when I was like 11. So don't be like me if you need help putting in a tampon if you're young or if you still haven't and you were like me, get some help, talk to your mom, talk to a friend, like 
it is worth it to learn how. Um, but the problem is that every time I would try to put one in, I would literally pass out. I would either almost pass out or everything would start getting like black and fuzzy. So I just like immediately stopped. And yeah, so mm, all of high school, <laughs> I didn't use a tampon. But um, I don't have that issue anymore. There's something really embarrassing about me. <laughs> So another little embarrassing period story because I feel like every girl goes through this and I just want everyone to feel like, okay, you're not alone. I was in choir and I started my period and I didn't have anything with me, but I was wearing like, you know, underwear, thick pair of like jeans and like this sweater. So I just like bled through everything basically because like I was like what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to you know I don't have anything and then finally like I went to the bathroom figured my situation out got some supplies but I was just I just sat there like the whole class and just kind of let it happen you know so that's embarrassing <laughs> okay I have a couple more so this one has to be one of the more embarrassing ones being like older I was a sophomore and I was the only sophomore in this class it was a astronomy class and it was mostly like a junior senior class it was a very difficult class so not very many sophomores took it and most sophomores take chemistry I took astronomy instead so I'm in this class and there was this really hot French foreign exchange student so he came into the class and it was very obvious that I like like had a crush on him I thought he was really hot obviously I mean him were like friends actually so um, he actually ended up dating one of my friends but I don't really care so the teacher the teacher obviously knew this my teacher also spoke French so one day he was like hey uh, Nick we'll call him Nick hey Nick come up to the board and tell everyone what this says so he wrote something on the board in French and then he said it uh, Nick said it in French out to the class, and then um, my teacher was like, no, what does it actually say? I'm sitting there, like, red in the face, because I already know what it's going to say. And Nick says to the class, like, Sydney thinks Nick is hot. Or so it was, like, something along those lines. I'm red in the face. Like, I am so embarrassed. I mean, it was definitely no secret, but at the same time, I wasn't ever going to tell him that. Like, we were friends. And I was so embarrassed. And I remember just being like, I hate you to my teacher. And I like ran out into the hallway. And I, like, he didn't really care what I did. So I was like, I'm not coming back to class. But I just went to the bathroom and like calmed myself down and came back. And I was like, I'm never talking to you again to my teacher. But I don't know. He was a fun teacher. And we always just like messed around. He always picked on me and stuff. So it was just kind of one of those classes. But I, that was just so embarrassing. But it's kind of fun to look back on now. So I appreciate it. Okay, so next is I have two stories that have to do with me and Dallin and like our first kiss. And that's it. So we had our first kiss when I was 16. And it was on, it was before Valentine's Day. It was like a couple days before Valentine's Day. And then I went home that night, or I was at my mom's that night. So this was like the next day, I believe. And my family was gathered as we gathered every evening and just caught up and stuff. And they were like, so I like said goodbye to Dallin, walked him out and I came back in. They were like, so Sid, have uh, you and Dallin kissed yet? And I turned like red in the face. I'm like, ah, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like trying to walk downstairs and they're like, Sid, we all know. And they were like, just tell us. And I said, I don't kiss and tell. And then they just kept pushing for it. And they were like, well, did you or did you not? And I was like, I don't kiss and tell, I don't know. And then they were like, well, have you been kissed recently? And I was like, I don't know. And it was like so obvious and I was just like so embarrassed my whole family's like calling me out which they were all like kind of just like wanted to know or excited because we're family best friends and like that meant oh the family's gonna be together and so yeah it was just really embarrassing because it was like the first time that I had like really really cared about a guy and like didn't want people to know what was going on because I really liked Dallin and so it was like embarrassing to be like yeah we kissed so I just like ignored it and then the final story, Dallin's mom walking in on us. What a phenomenal story. Um, we've told it a couple times, but I'll just make it brief. So it is now Valentine's Day and we're on our first date. I'm 16 and we had already had our first kiss. So this was like the second time we were gonna kiss. And we went on our date, we went back to his house and my whole family had come over 
and we're just kind of hanging out and then my dad was like okay it's time to go so I was upstairs in Dallin's room and he kissed me goodbye like not just kiss like we were making out and so his mom is walk she was like upstairs and she walked over to the room and the door was like open I'm pretty sure or she opened it I'm not sure but she's standing in the doorway and we stopped kissing and we were like and she's literally just standing there like because she was shocked she had no idea that we liked each other because we've been friends for so long and so she just like looks at us like shocked and then just like walks away she's like I saw nothing and then so I go downstairs I'm like dad we have to go we have to go we have to go we have to go because <laughs> he was my ride home Don had picked me up and I was like we have to go and they just kept talking I was like okay I'm waiting outside like I'm no I'm not here right now <laughs> so that's kind of how our whole family ended up finding out that we were like a thing that's great but that is it for all my embarrassing stories. Those are the mo probably like the most embarrassing things that have happened to me in my life. So I'm just out here exposing myself for no reason. But please leave an embarrassing story down below so I'm not the only one exposing myself. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.